This is morning prayer for Tuesday, April 7th. Jesus said, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, Come let, let us adore him. him. Come, Come, let, let us, us sing to the Lord. Lord. Let, let us, us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, Come let us adore him. The psalm appointed for, for the day is Psalm 12. We will read the psalm responsively by whole verse. Help me, Lord, for there is no godly one left. The faithful have vanished from among us. Everyone speaks falsely with his neighbor. With a smooth tongue they speak from a double heart. Oh, that the Lord would cut off all smooth tongues and close the lips that utter proud boasts. Those who say, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? Because the needy are oppressed and the poor cry out in mercy, in misery, I will rise up, says the Lord, and give them the help they long for. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined from ore and purified seven times in the fire. O Lord, watch over us and save us from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, and that which is worthless is highly prized by everyone. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. The Gospel reading appointed for today comes from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 11, verses 27 to 33. Again they came to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to him and said, By what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? Answer me. They argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, why then did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin, they were afraid of the, of the crowd, for all regarded John as truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we do not know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle that I have selected for today is Canticle 9, the first song of Isaiah. Surely, Surely it, is it is God, God who, who saves me. me. I, will I will trust, trust in, in him and, and not be afraid. afraid. 
For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my Savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He He suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Not, let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the author of peace, and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your, de- your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and you sent your your blessed Son to preach peace to those who were far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Let us pray together. Almighty God, God, you you have have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you may be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, 
our our desires desires and petitions as as may be best best for us, granting us in this this world knowledge knowledge of your truth truth, and in in the the age to come, come, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.